Hi everyone, this is Honeywell and this is episode 16 of The Perfect Town. In this episode we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of town assessment and make some adjustments. If we go ahead and go over to our production tab, um, you can see the amount of tools that we uh, produced last year were 84. Um, which isn't a lot and it's really it's really not going to be a enough we've been uh, kind of surviving on the huge stockpile of tools that we have but I want I want to kind of guarantee a more steady supply um, we're going to be stocking this this trading post with 500 steel tools so we'll have a thousand um, tools in reserve between this trading post and the one up here, the one over here, where you can see we have the 500 uh, tools. Uh, but I want to be producing uh, a bit more tools, and we're already making steps to increase our firewood production with. with the two new forest hubs that we had planned out. And actually, I'm gonna increase priority on these stockpiles back here. So one of the ways that we're going to uh, hopefully increase our steel tool production is by putting a blacksmith uh, back in this area. Now you can see we only have 17 steel tools in stock back here despite having over a thousand. Almost a thousand in our in reserve and honestly I don't think that's enough so I think if we put a blacksmith back here we might have we might be able to increase the number of steel tools in this area. So we're going to place a blacksmith over here. And I designed all of these stockpiles to be able to um, fit a second woodcutter around them. But instead of taking up the forested area with another woodcutter, I think I'm going to sneak sneak one right back here and this will probably be temp temporary but I'm gonna go ahead and remove this stockpile and stick a woodcutter back here and this labor would become the the woodcutter so we don't even have to worry about any houses and I'll just up our up our firewood production just a little bit and then of course when we get uh, these all of these forest hubs up and running that'll be another couple thousand a couple thousand firewood but in order for these blacksmiths to uh, be effective they need to have coal and what we're bringing in in coal just isn't enough so what I'm going to do is increase the amount of coal that we're purchasing um, from 200 to 600. I often see general merchants with around 600 uh, coal. It seems to be what they're bringing. So we want to buy the full, the full shipment. And along with the increased amount of coal, uh, we're going to be adding tools to all of the training docks. So if a merchant shows up with some steel tools, we can, we can purchase them. And we're going to do the same thing with, we're going to set these, these docks the same way we set this one, where we keep, where we request 200 iron tools, just in case a merchant comes by with iron tools that we buy. We'll go ahead and keep them right in the trading post and use them uh, to purchase something else.
And this is all just part of, uh, periodically, we're going to be, as we continue to grow and see where the, what the needs are, we'll continue to tweak all of this stuff. Okay. These socks over here are a little bit different. Um, these are our food purchasing docks. So for one, we want to put some a small amount of ale over on these docks because we are going to set these docks to purchase tools. And these are a little bit different because I have these merchants that come to these docks to automatically bring steel tools and stone so there's no iron tools, uh, no merchants bring iron tools to these docks at all. So we can go ahead and, and just keep the 200 steel tools. Stock a little bit of ale so we're not shorting our food production. And we don't have to worry about the iron tools. And the last one. And a little bit of ale. Good. And one of our food strategies that we that we have in place besides the stockpiling of a bit of reserve food um, is that we're actually underproducing. If you look at all of our our food producers, uh, most of them are at half of what they can be. But that but doing that and wanting to be able to increase our food production at a moment's notice as soon as we notice a problem. Um, in order to do that, you have to have enough uh, housing and laborers in the area in order to do that. So we definitely want to get some more houses built in this section. So if I do need to uh, crank up the production on these fields and, and put three or four workers on them, well, I can't imagine I'd ever put four, but if I were going to increase the number of farmers to three, you want to have plenty of labor in the area in order to do that. So we definitely want some more houses back here. So we're going to get these started, and you'll also notice that these are the first um, stone houses we've used in the town. Our firewood consumption is is kind of going through the roof here and it's only going to continue to go higher and higher as we board, build more houses, whether they're stone or wooden. Um, that is going to continue to increase. So we want to get Oh, and it looks like we're out of apples. Wow. I'm surprised. Yep, 302 apples. Um, the reason why our food is starting to run low is because you'll see that all of these docks, um, docks back here are completely full which means that we haven't had any food merchants come by in a while. Um, which is fine. We still have absolutely enough food. We have like a population of 700, so we use about 70,000 food a year. Um, 
So we still have about 30,000 more than that. So I'm really not concerned that much about that. But... There are some more adjustments that we want to make. Fruits, grains. Okay, we have the priority set to fruit. So when a merchant shows up, the first thing that we buy is fruit, and then we buy as much grains as we can, and then we buy as much meat, and vegetables are last. We want more beans in here. So I'm going to go ahead and up the priority of vegetables on this dock and we're gonna up them on this dock as well fruits vegetables good and that should get a larger supply of beans in the town and our fish is also low and that's already stocked they're working on the apples and the beans now and the wheat, they're going to take 9,000 wheat out soon. Hmm. Let's increase our fishermen as well. Um, we'll put three on every dock. So what would that be, 39? I think would be the math to get three on every dock. Three, 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 yeah, that must be right. Okay, so we're going to increase our fishermen to increase our stockpile of food. Because remember, we want a large supply of each of the food groups we want. And the ones that we are concentrating on are wheat for our grain, fish for our meat, beans for our vegetables, and apples for our fruit. Okay. We'll go ahead and plop that woodcutter in there. Okay, and since this stockpile is complete back here, we're going to start collecting all the stone and iron from back here. Which will only help when we go to build everything. And it'll save the foresters from having to do it. And we can actually probably use the iron since we're in childbirth. Since we're building some stone houses now. Uh, they all take 10 iron apiece, so we're going to be using more iron than we have previously. So to get these two forest hubs started, we're going to unpause a few houses, the marketplace, um, and hopefully they'll get these. That's almost finished over here. And they should have these stockpiles to work from back here. Up, oh, and this is full already. And we do not want Oh. 
we do not want our firewood production going down because we're not making enough as it is. Oh yeah, we only have 38 in stock. Let's see if we can get this uh, emptied out a bit so this woodcutter can keep working and being effective. Um, if they have a good stockpile to work from. I don't know. 9 to 1200 firewood kind of seems to be the norm from what I see as long as everything is working as intended. Well, that's only 736. And 1100. And that should be good for now. Just to keep this woodcutter working. And we still don't have any food. Oh, but they did buy the the tools. Oh, uh, okay, good. We finally got a food boat. Which is good news. So there should be about 30,000 food coming into coming into the city now. That's good. And that's also why we want the That's also why I wanted the reserve of food over here. Um, because if we do have a series of bad trades like that or just unlucky vendors you don't want to be completely at the mercy of that I mean that would be pretty terrible and what we also planned out while we were building um, since we're talking about merchants while we were building this is some trading posts at this end of the town um, we're buying all of our right now we're buying all of our ore um, we're buying tools um, just a, we're buying a lot from the traders so this is a huge distance these trading docks set up here are perfectly fine for for kind of servicing this area and this area of the city but by the time you get to all the way down here um, that's really quite a trek. So I want some trading posts uh, at this end of the city. So for these areas that we're just opening up now, and for whatever we happen to decide to fill this area with, they'll have uh, closer access to, to the variety of food and things like steel tools and stuff. And it looks like we're going to get a couple houses built back here, which will be good because as soon as we have the houses built back here and there's some builders and laborers working, uh, things should go a lot faster. raise these up to eight and I'm also going to unpause these houses again we planned out stone houses so it's probably going to take a little longer for these to be built because we're going to have to go all the way over here to get access to some stone. Um, do I want to buy some of this food? I think I do. Not that, but... 
see, 100 iron tools. And let's get some, some of this. Um, actually, let's get 8,000 beans. And that's good. That'll do two things. It'll help up our food total, um, but it'll also get us closer to the number of beans that we want. And that's fine. You can be dismissed. And we're getting a tiny bit of apples in, so our ale production should be picking back up again. And the increased coal seems to be helping. Although we haven't produced any tools yet. Yeah, that is really, that's a pathetic number. And that's strictly down to not having any coal in stock, so hopefully that'll We'll be producing a few more steel tools now. One thing we haven't planned out yet, but we're going to, is we're going to put a um, at least a quarry and a couple mines back here, and we'll work them very lightly. Uh, just so if we run out of any ore, we can have a small small amount coming in. And I think I'm going to increase our the iron that we're purchasing to 300. Hmm. Yes. Just because all the stone houses that we build are going to require 10 iron. So 10 iron on top of the steel tools and whatever else we build. Um, like all these trading posts back here. Which take a pretty hefty amount of iron as it is. You know what, and let's put put a small stockpile back here. And we'll remove these resources. Let's increase priority a bit on those as well. Okay. Okay, we are getting somewhere. Let's increase our builders to 30. And hopefully that'll make some more available back here to, to get started on this stuff. We have that stockpile done. And that one as well. Good. Increase priority on that woodcutter, and I think we're gonna bump up the speed. It looks like all of these houses are in. And good, the couples are still relatively young.
and we're gonna still we're increasing our population at pretty pretty fast um, eventually probably soon we're gonna start um, tapering off how fast we build our houses um, because this town isn't gonna get as high population as I wanted I wanted I don't know I wasn't going for like a crazy population number um, but I wanted to record I thought maybe somewhere around 2000 would be a good kind of high population town to kind of show you guys and then maybe we could see some of the um, the die off and rebirth cycle a little bit but I'm finding the game to be uh, a tiny bit laggy now uh, so I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to to show that so we might kind of lower our the number that I was kind of aiming for this town and we might be somewhere around the uh, I don't know maybe the 1000 or 1500 mark I really I didn't expect recording to have this much of a impact on on the game uh, but it is okay and we'll get them producing some steel tools as well if these vendors if these vendors can keep some coal in stock back here which there's not any in the town uh, then that might help help with steel tools at this end of town like 17 for the number of workers and houses that we have back here is not very much the only thing that is good is that the professions back here uh, don't go through tools like they do if you were like mar uh, mining or farming so that's good but still I still would like some more and it looks like this marketplace is up and running so I am going to I'm gonna put eight back here as well two three four five six seven eight and we'll lower this apples beans fish wheat okay Some steel tools, some warm coats, good. And I think we'll unpause this schoolhouse and we'll increase the teacher right now so I don't forget. It looks like we're getting in our apples again, which is nice. The food is increasing. Oh, these docks are still full though, which means they haven't had an order in a while. This one did though, which is good. And it looks like we are purchasing some of these steel tools. Now that, I guess, what, we have 200 ale, so let's buy 200 stone here. Just since it's there and I'm looking at it. Check out this stock. Okay, this is good. Because this trading post is completely full now. And we still have 900 tools in stock and we have coats stone our iron is kind of low and we're out of coal again but I was mainly concerned with our firewood and our tools and it looks like these couple adjustments have seemed to to help that 
So I think this is as good a place as any to end the episode. We have a marketplace and some homes uh, back here up and, and ready to go. So I think we'll call this episode over. And during the next episode, we'll just concentrate on getting these first subs up and running. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll come back for episode 17.